He's the original guy from the wrong side of the tracks, or at least the other side of this Siberian cave, where the tiny fossils from his 13-year-old daughter were discovered. A Neanderthal Denisovan love child, a human hybrid. National Geographic science editor is Maya Wayhas. We've long known that these kind of mixing happen. There's been hints in both ancient and modern DNA that suggest that our ancient ancestors uh, kind of interbred. But this is actually like catching it in the act. The DNA was extracted from a quarter-sized bone fragment believed to have come from the teenager who died around 90,000 years ago. Genetic testing revealed a 50-50 split. Her mother was a Neanderthal who inhabited the western part of Eurasia, but her father was from that relatively unknown branch of the prehistoric family, the Denisova, named after those Siberian caves. The results proved that despite their genetic differences, members of the two groups mated and raised children. One of the study's authors, biologist Savante Pabo, says that's huge. I was extremely surprised. I was sure they had screwed something up in the laboratory for the <laughs> longest time until they proved to me that they hadn't. Unlike the Neanderthals, little is known about what the Denisovans look like. All we know about them was extracted by scientists from these tiny tooth and bone fragments. We do know they were genetically linked close enough with the Neanderthals so that rather than rivals, they were more like kissing cousins. The study author told us the fact that they just stumbled across a direct offspring suggests that maybe our ancestral cousins got up to a little bit more hanky-panky than previously thought. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, London.